Dose. I thought, I thought we were in, in, in Quebec. <laughs> Le deuxième Twilight Conflict. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, that's from France. No, that's France. In okay, Quebec, sorry. Yeah. I'm learning here. I'm so, learning. Um, L oh, it's low. Low. I'm sorry, I got a correction. So, <laughs> so Milo going in with a mid into a low immediately to get his fat damage, and now he's like, he's just brawling. Wow, instantly. he's going. Hold the stomp. Woo! That's, okay, wait, I forgot which version of the game we're playing here. <laughs> that is not wall splat like that. It's a little too far. He would have, but like, he hit, a slight yeah. side angle. Yeah. Slight side angle. So, oh, no, the rage Ooh. drive hitting it, but luckily he's closer to the wall. Less damage drops the combo. <sighs> Spooler wanted to go for super max damage. Oh, that was the pain for it. <laughs> Look at these guys brawling, brawling for this. That place. biker is just trying to get through. <laughs> you just see these guys brawling in front of him. So it's interesting seeing Spoodler um, brawl against oh, Mindwolf Mine because they do so this well. every week. And no so break on the one throw. I'm wondering if Mindwolf has been doing his homework on his friend slash teammate. Oh, oh that could have been, been a could've launch, could've been but launch. still, get, again, any damage better than no damage. And with Lars, he can keep you out. Mm -hmm. And <gasps> oh, need a counter. So block the black hole, but no punish, but he blocked it. That's what's important. Blocking black holes is important, I agree. Ooh, um, good job, Mino. A good job, Mino. That's two quick rounds. Yeah. This from the man who... Oh. Another sidestep, too. There it is again. Bad boy stamp stamp stomp. <laughs> Bad boy stamp. Bad boy stamp. <laughs> <laughs> the Mine Wolf stamps now. Has Spooler done his homework? Because uh, the way he's... The way Mine Wolf is playing right now, so much confidence, mm -hmm. going and mixing it up so well. Oh, he's just like, going for it. Come on. For it. Tries to over get out of get out of danger here. Oh no, but the, the killer B couldn't finish off. <gasps> Had the oh, he still gets the, the rage the and that will finish it off. And look at mine. Wow. Like, I got this, bro. I got this. At first I thought he dropped the combo, but he picked her right back up, went into the rage drive. Now watch Dragon's Nest. Dragon's Nest. And what's interesting here, <laughs> see, as predicted, what's interesting here is I think maybe Spooler may have walked in a little bit overconfident because he's yeah. played against Mindwolf mm -hmm. so much. Whereas mm -hmm. Mindwolf, as the underdog, came in like, okay, I gotta be really careful. He's ready. Know, and be ready. Yeah. And so let's see if Spoodler makes the mental adjustment and gets what back I'm in the game. What I'm liking is, uh, you know, Mindwolf will get the low, the low hit, interrupt, and then right away it's, am I going to do tire shoe? Mm -hmm. Or am I gonna do the while standing move for mm -hmm. you to, uh, to block? And, and I think, that's throwing off Smoother, because mm -hmm. you expect the time to shoot. He was doing it so much earlier in all his other and, matches. And he just did the wall standing two back at the entry every single time. Every time. I forget if it's dark entry or silent entry or low entry or spicy entry. I forget. It's spi <laughs> Into spicy entry every I, single time. Oh, against this match, it's dark hole entry. Here we go. So Smoother, <laughs> a little more careful now, not like going as crazy as he was before, being uh, being more uh, defensive, you know, poking slow. Getting out with that eight frame jab. Mm -hmm. He's, uh, I think he's respecting his opponent a bit more, which is good. That's a good adjustment. Nice. That could have been a huge whiff punish, though, with the orbital. And Mindwolf, uh, you know, realizing his opponent is yeah. giving him more space. Race drive early, gets the unblockable. Yeah, he's going to drop the combo, though, that, but doesn't matter. <gasps> Great oh, job. That's so good. That, you're at zero after that low mid. Yeah. So, and Spooler knew, but Mindwolf knew, too. Yeah, and, and so he threw out no, the Mask Raven has a good range drive, but not the best. He's interrupted with a lot of moves. Mm -hmm. Arc Blast, speaking of interrupts. With wow. Mindwolf kicking ass and chewing bubble To gun. the wall, gets some gets damage, misses oh. it, walks around, misses big damage. Hey, that's the old school stuff. I love it. <laughs> Down back one, two on the back. Repeat, repeat. Karate into low the low. parry. Okay, he's had enough of it. Yeah, he's ready for it now. And tries to adjust, but the I don't the know the stage. This stage has not been helping him out. Has not been helping oh. him out. One yeah, round away. <laughs> oh, Spooler. Make me proud, my boy. Spe I okay. mean, Mindwolf. Mindwolf make me proud. <laughs> <laughs> Magic four. Gets to the combo. It's going to take to the wall. Back turn. Hits to the wall. We're going to see an Oki set up. No. Yes, we dropped the combo. This is not big boy damage. So Orbital. We didn't see. That's the first one Orbital we've seen in this match. Mm -hmm. So Mindwolf, I think, is like a bit so relaxed now because okay. he's got so much of a lead. And but sucked but into that. Black, black hole. hole. You relax <laughs> just a little too much, and that's when you eat the black hole. You relax. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> relax into the black hole. Okay, Raymond. I gotcha. So um, it looks like Spooler is getting his composure back, okay. slowly He's bringing it back. I think he may be ready. Okay. Big damage. Killer B goes for the mix-up. Gets a counter hit. Wow. Sweep. Great, great choice. Just on what the he sweep needed. There. Notice Drops how he blocked the, the wall standing two after the jumping low. Yes, he knew not but to push the button. Hole. Okay, and, take the other side. I think this is it, man. The cartwheel into the palm. Boom. Yep. And that palm is guaranteed on lost yes, characters. Yes, it is. So. 
interrupt. Yeah. Didn't want it to. He thought maybe the unblock was coming. Yeah. I thought the unblock was coming too. Smoother trying to fighting to stay alive here. Oh, oh couldn't get the. So Just here's how that works. Too far. Um, when uh, she does the uh, black hole, uh, when she does it. And you block it, you can't do a 10 frame punish. You have up to 14 frames to play with. Yeah, and 14 it frame has to be mid. A, a far reaching 14 yeah, frame. Yeah, that's mid. right. And preferably mid. Yeah. So I'm not sure if Lars. I think Lars may have forward back too, but I think it's 15 now. Uncertain. Oh. Anyway, Spooler bringing it back slowly. Another like, overdose. now that he's got his lead, he's chilling. He's not going to press too many buttons. See? Okay. Went for the counter hit this time. And Spooler takes a great okay. job, Spooler, getting that his composure so back. So close. Wow. Man. So close. It I was. It all turned around with one black hole. Yeah. It all turned around. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's yeah. such a great move. It's it is a great move. move. I, I, um, Man, I, I, I ate that a couple times. I'm, geez. Yeah. As I was telling, uh, as I was saying <laughs> on stream yesterday, for those of you that didn't, that tuned in or missed yesterday's stream, yeah. uh, what's interesting about Master Raven players is they throw black hole out at first. Yeah. Just to see. Just to see if you'll eat it or not or if you yeah. punish it or not. Mm -hmm. And then once they notice you're blocking it or you're punishing it, they stop. Yes. And the mark of a good Master Raven player is that as time goes on, if they realize you've forgotten about it, oh, yeah. they bring it back. Oh yeah. And uh, that's what happened here. He stopped using it, I think, after the second round of the first match. Mm -hmm. And then third round of the second match, he's down two rounds, Black Hole comes back, and he used it and won two rounds in a row with that's it. That's right. So That's right. But is it too soon? Because now he's using it several times. Yeah. Is it? Is maybe he has to, uh, you know, phase it out again and then mm -hmm. bring it back later. That's we'll right. see. We'll see if Mind Wolf adjusts to it or not. Here we go. Are we going to pick a stage here? Which is his favorite stage? Of course. Of course. Geese Howard Estate. Lars gets all the walls. But all the so wall does Master Raven. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I actually don't know how much damage she gets. Oh, she gets a lot. On the wall, does she? Um, one of our Toronto locals, great Raven player. Oh, sorry, he's from Hamilton, so yeah, yeah greater Toronto. Um, <laughs> but uh, he, great JD Escobar has a great uh, Master Raven. If you check out his videos um, on YouTube, amazing stuff on this stage alone. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, he is, he's something for everything. Great. She definitely gets a lot of damage. So I guess we're going to see a, a slash slug fest because any hit is. Uh, Two thirds of a life bar, if not more. Oh yeah, um, this, this match, this match may go really fast. Yeah. Um, oh, Starting I was about in. to say, are they going to respect each other? No. And Mindwolf just goes in with a launch blast. Here we go, taking to the wall. Lars does not miss the wall. It doesn't matter. Okay, you know what? Commentator's curse. <laughs> Lars does not miss the wall, except on that, that one, one time. Angle. That one time. But look, see, Mindwolf is not going in into the black hole. Okay, Vampire D finds his mark, taking to the wall. This is going to be just a little far. It wasn't. Sure, where it was. Carry it while standing three. This is big damage. We're gonna see an Oki situation here. Splat. Oh. We are, you gotta know it's coming. You gotta respect it. You gotta, gotta respect know. it. It's he hesitated the first time, went for it the second time, and by that time it was, it was too, too late. late. The first one was the one. That was the hesitation that, that was in the game. That is punishable. I think he was just a little too scared. There slow. we go. I want to see more of that. It's hitting every time. Yep. I think Spooler is afraid to crouch yeah. from far because he knows Mindwolf is throwing the, the shoulders I out. find Spooler doesn't crouch much in general. He doesn't. Yeah. That's true. He crouches when he's up close. Yeah. Um, when he's from far, he doesn't like to. Oh, okay. So okay, let's this see what he's takes got. to the wall, but it's, he needs to end it early. Uh, oh, yeah. he tried 4-4-2. Four, uh, four, four, he wanted it to break the wall. Okay, Orbital, unfortunately, she was already air. Oh, oh my wow. god, but big damage! Oh, oh Killer no. B gets around the rage art! Oh my gosh, and right now, Spooler on match points. Bringing it back after being one round away from These were close game. rounds, each one. Blocks it, doesn't get the wall standing one, fortunately. But gets the Mind Wolf B-Boy B -boy stance. Again, we, he's been holding back on that too, you forgot mm -hmm. about it. He does the high, because I'm not punishable. Okay, now that move, that phasing oh, out. Oh, just a little too slow. Oh, oh my punish, gosh, though. these ninjas. They're just hopping and choreographing these amazing feats. Quick stand. Break dance. Killer B to finish it, it off. Great uh, job, Spooler bringing it back. Give it up for Mindwolf. Great, Great showing job, today man. with Great Lars, job. nonetheless.